Hello everyone, how are we all? I hope you're all doing very well. Welcome back to my channel and to a homeware B&M haul. Now, I haven't filmed one of these in quite a while, uh, mainly because what we tend to do whenever we shop at B&M is we try and wait until we need a refill of a lot of stuff and then we go. So for those of you who aren't from the UK, b and is kind of like a discount store. They just do some really good products for the home cleaning, that kind of thing. We've got a lot. I've got like three bags full. <laughs> um, we needed quite a few cleaning supplies. We also got some bits for the living room refresh that we're doing soon and some Christmas things for Maggie <laughs> and Halloween. So I'm going to start with the most exciting items actually because I'm so, so happy with these. b and homeware is really leveled up. The one we went to was the Old Kent Road store in London. It's not the biggest and it's certainly not the best, but it was just the one that we were quite local to. We went for a walk with Maggie. So the first item I got is this. This is a 100% cotton cushion. This was, where's the tag? There we go. This was 10 pounds. So it's Serenity Tassel wool cushion. It's from their heritage collection. It's 48 centimeters by 48. And I just think that's really, really nice. This is kind of like the vibe we're going to go for, for the living room. This is to replace this fluffy one behind us. I don't know if you can see it. We've had this a while. It's just lost its whiteness and we tried to wash it and it's basically starting to lose its fluff as well. It's not great having a dog. It's just not really doing its best. So we're going to, I don't know if you can see, it's kind of just got a bit grubby. Um, it's absolutely fine. So we're just going to pop that on the balcony. But we're going to pop this one on the one behind us. And I just love the tassels. It's kind of like a boho style. Just a lovely cushion for a tenner. And it feels, oh, feels really nice. So yeah, that's going to go behind us. That was the first item. They had so many uh, cushions in B&M. I was really impressed. Now, the second thing, I'm not sure. I do really like it. I just didn't have a chance to look at it in person. So this is a, two, a set of two side tables. Now, obviously, we are painting the living room. And this side table that we have next to us is it's absolutely fine. However, we do have a better home for it. And now that we've got a lovely sofa too, where Zara sits on an evening, she can't really rest anything on the side, like a cup of tea or a drink or a glass of wine. So I picked up these. These were, this is 25 pounds. And it's a set of two gold tables, side tables. So like 12.50 each in two different sizes. So I don't think they were too bad at all. Um, my only concern is the gold might be a little bit yellowy cheap gold. I'm not really sure. Um, I couldn't open them in store because it's sealed. So I'm going to grab some scissors and have a look at them now. I know you'll know what I mean, but when it just looks a bit like it's been spray painted gold, I'm just not really sure. I just think with the colours that we're going for, with the green and the nice like Hessian colour, I think the gold will look lovely. But let's see. You can return things if you're not 100% happy with them being them. So that's good to know. Ooh. Do you know what? Yes, this is brilliant. It's much more of a brassy gold than a yellowy gold. So that's the kind of gold we're working with. That's lovely, very similar to the gold that we have over there as well. I really, really enjoy that. I think that's such a nice tone. So obviously they're two of the same widths. So we're gonna pop one next to the armchair with the green. I think that's really nice. I won't be building them in this hall. Um, stick around for the living room paint, which will be coming hopefully very soon. I'm literally waiting for the paint to arrive and then we can all systems go. Very happy with those. Let's move on to homeware. So the only real homeware piece I actually got was this uh, glass canister. These are absolutely fab. They're glass with a bamboo lid and this was three pounds. So we decan pretty much all that we have just because uh, obviously with doing a lot of food recipes and stuff, the bags can just get a bit messy, things fall out, spill, and get like nasties in there. So we try and keep everything airtight, especially living in London. Um, you've got bits, you know, squirming around. So yeah, this was three pounds. So we're gonna pop some pasta in this just to um, keep it nice and in a jar. So yeah, that was three pounds and definitely we'll be getting the label maker on that too. Moving on to like cleaning products. Not really that exciting, but I picked up some of these elbow grease sponges. We've used these before. Where regular sponges tend to be quite thin and just disintegrate and just a bit naff. These are really good. Um, and I bought this with uh, uh, this in mind as well. So this is the Oven Bright uh, Oven Cleaner. So they're hand in hand. Um, our oven has had a 
very good thorough use throughout summer so I use this one all the time and it's just brilliant and it really keeps your oven nice and clean and gleaming so they were £1.20 and I think this was £2. Um, I also got one of these Dishmatic soap sponges these are just really good because you can actually put the um, washing up liquid in here and they're just really nice to get in like cups and glasses and stuff that the larger sponges do struggle with so yeah that was a pound. Obviously it is approaching hot chocolate season so I picked up some of this Malteser hot chocolate um, which I just absolutely love. It's the instant hot chocolate but we make it with milk instead of water and it like froths up. It's so delicious and uh, we use it in our velvetizer which is like a little milk mixer and it just makes it go extra frothy. Um, so yeah this was, I think this was one pound actually. It's a big old pot. I think it's like 350 grams, that'll make a lot of hot chocolates. And then last but not least, it's quite a lot of, well, a couple of dog things. So, um, obviously we've got Maggie and b and is fab for treats and dog toys and that kind of thing. Um, so this is a durable squeaky ball. So we actually have got rid of all of the tennis balls in, oh, there we go, in the flat just because they're not great for puppies. Um, we bought them just with the idea to throw them for at the park, but she actually just chews them. So we got rid of them just mainly because the fluff was everywhere. Um, so these balls are much more durable and they're bouncy and it squeaks. So she loves these. That was a pound. Zara got her this Dracula toy, which is so cool. She loves anything that like rustles. So it's little cape is like rustly. The rope she loves. I just think that was so cool. <laughs> <laughs> it's got little bangs on there as well. Um, I think that was two pounds, she said. That was really nice. Her toy crate is massively overflowing now, so we really need to stop with the toys. Um, now, the last couple of things are festive related. I have to go and get her to try these on because they are too cute. Um, the first thing is a Santa hat. <laughs> so, obviously, Vlogmas is fast approaching, so we're going to be making a little Vlogmas intro with Maggie, putting a Santa hat on her. Um, this was one pound. We got it in a large. I'm thinking it'll fit her as she grows by Christmas. And then this, Zara got her, is, <laughs> this is a bit ridiculous, it's a reindeer pet outfit. So this was seven pounds, um, and oh God, it's so cool. It's got jingle bells on the back. So obviously just, they wear it like a coat, and then they've got a little hood. Again, she's not gonna wear it out of the house, but we just thought it'd be really nice. Just take a couple of photos, this is Maggie's first Christmas, so um, she's just in the living room now, so let me grab her. Hey, what's this? What's this? Right, let's open this up. Let's give it a try. So it's got Velcro on it, so um, oh no, it's got elastic. She's like, I don't really want to wear a hat. Maggie, sit. Sit, darling, sit. Good girl. Oh, stop it. Stop it. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, it's amazing. Oh my goodness. She loves it. Maggie? Are you wishing everyone a very, very early Merry Christmas, even though we haven't even had Halloween yet? She's like, I think so. <laughs> You're not really a fan of that, are you? <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, my God. Best one pound we've ever spent. That will be the epi... That will be our Christmas calendar and card made this year. I won't put the reindeer outfit on her, but she does really enjoy it. Um, and she likes the bells too, so I think that's a successful purchase all around. We're getting ahead for Christmas. <laughs> they also did have Halloween ones in there if you want to get your pups and dogs something for Halloween. So that's everything. I really hope you've enjoyed this, guys. Thank you so much for watching. It's been an absolute pleasure to have you. If you have enjoyed it, as always, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to click subscribe, and I'll catch you all very soon. Bye for now.